Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven, and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are figuring out firsthand today, did Elijah Craig get room? I guess that's the best way to put it. We're reviewing the brand new A124 batch from Elijah Craig. I'm a little nervous. Not gonna lie, a little freaking nervous. But before we get into that, please do us that favor. Like, comment, and subscribe. That helps us out a ton, and we seriously appreciate the support. But let's get into those bottles. I did not get on the bandwagon for hating on Elijah Craig for dropping the 12-year-old age statement. I'm not hating on them. Wasn't really worried about them. That being said, this is the first one since they've made that act where the age statement is severely less than 12. This one's 10 years and nine months. So I guess, I mean, it's only like a year and some change, but that's a lot. That's a huge impact. And because of that, it is significantly less proof as well. The proof point on this SOB, 119, it's 10 years, nine months. And I'm real nervous. Very, very nervous. As you can tell, haven't even removed the plastic from this. So we haven't, you know, tried it, tasted it or whatever, but we're really going to figure out is Elijah Craig doing a good job blending these and we're not really worried about the age statements or like the age statements, the profile is falling off to be determined. This one, just like all the rest is also still kind of around that like 80, $85 nowadays. I think MSRP is still saying 65. That being said, I can kind of find these reliably for like 80, $85 in my area. Um, so Let's just get into it. Let's freaking review this SOB. But before getting to that, a word from today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by Z Biotics. Every time I have Z Biotics before I drink, I feel great the next day. This most recent time I was able to crush a six mile hike after a whole night of drinking. Z Biotics Pre-Alcohol Probiotic is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in your gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. It's designed to work like your liver, but in your gut where you need it most. Just remember to drink Zbiotics before drinking alcohol. Drink responsibly and get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. Super Bowl Sunday is right around the corner because the Zbiotics, I'm confident I'll be able to hang out, watch the game, enjoy it, have a blast, but also make it to work on Monday. Go to zbotics.com forward slash tipsy and use the code tipsy at checkout to receive 15% off your first order. You can also click on this QR code down below and you can also pair it with a subscription basis to receive 15% off. Zbotics is 100% money back guaranteed, so for whatever reason you are not satisfied, they will refund your money, no questions asked. Remember to go to zbotics.com forward slash tipsy and use the code tipsy at checkout to receive 15% off your first order. Thank you, Zbotics, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. Alrighty, let's crack the seal. And let's get into it. Let me figure out, am I going to be disappointed with Elijah Craig? I, for the longest time, geez, this is getting kind of difficult to do around the mic. I have, for the longest time, been a huge fan of Elijah Craig's. I mean, I still am. I am an Elijah Craig fanboy. I love everything Elijah Craig does. Does? Do's? I really, really liked the B batch of last year. The first one that they did this whole age change for, I didn't try the C batch. Um, not gonna lie, for some odd reason, I don't know why, because it's only again like a year and some few months. I'm very nervous about this one. I really think this one might have fallen off. I haven't really seen any sort of reviews of it. I know some people have put up reviews, but I haven't watched them, so I have no idea what anybody else's thoughts are. I'm not gonna lie, the last bottle I did review is Elijah Craig 18, so it's really hard to like compare like this oak to that oak, because very different oaks, but nice oak, kind of nutty, has that like nutty peanut butter thing going on. Like a mossy oak, like a foresty oak. Not like putrid, mulchifying oak or anything like that, but it's like an like damp oak, damp oak, a little bit of moss on it. I know that's not a great like nosing note, but it's what I smell, buddy. It's what I smell. 
nice vanilla. There is like a sharp, bright vanilla on it, which is something I typically don't find in Elijah Craig's. Usually I find, or I should say Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs. So that's in the normal Elijah Craig small batch, but the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is very dark usually. It's nutty, it's oaky, chocolatey, if you will. And this one has that. There's a little bit of like a milk chocolate influence, but it's like a caramel milk chocolate. Like one of those, what is that? Like Rolos or whatever, like that, the cylindrical chocolate with the like caramel inside, like that, that um, maybe, maybe a Snickers bar is a better representation of what I'm smelling. It smells pretty good, dude. Not going to lie. Um, I might've been coming in a little negatively on this. It smells pretty good. It's not as dark as the other batches typically are. Usually I get a little bit more chocolate and a little bit more oak. But, you know, there's that sweet caramel thing on this one, which is kind of fun. Usually I say these smell like a Bougie's Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, and this one's way more like a Snickers bar with a little bit of extra nuts in it. Or maybe just a normal Snickers bar. Maybe, oh, this might be like a diabetic daydream, but uh, like a Milky Way Snickers bar and a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup all just smashed together. That's what it smells like to me, or at least what I imagine. I've never done that, um, but I'm thinking about doing it now. Let's get on the palette and let's figure out how does this SOB taste. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's definitely not everything I've always thought about Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs. It's definitely... It's, it's lighter. It's a little bit more, I think that Milky Way is a great way of like bringing it. It's like, like that marshmallow fluff in there. There's still like a nuttiness. There's still a chocolatiness. There's an oakiness, but it's more of a marshmallow fluffy vibe as well. Um, I don't know if I want to say this is like completely off brand for Elijah Craig Bear Proofs either though. Um, yes, it's changed. Has it changed too much? I don't think so. I really, I don't know. Um, I should have grabbed an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof to kind of like side by side. But I'm not going to lie. Like this for 85 bucks in today's market, like this is nice. I like this a lot. I would happily pay 85 bucks for this. I mean, no surprise. It's an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I kind of like it at 119. It's not kicking my butt at all. It's not spiking. It's not like trying to cut my heart out. That's nice. There's oak. There's chocolate. There's that marshmallow fluffiness thing going on. Um, there's not too, too much outside of that. There's a little bit of a cherry. Um, if anything, I would say like my disappointments are, it's not thin, but it's... Not as exciting as every Elijah Craig Burrow Proof is. Usually they're rich and intense. This one's a little bit, maybe thin is the right way to put it. It's thinner than what I would expect from an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. That being said, it is 119 proof. So it's, you know, younger, uh, it's less alcohol. Like it's, it makes sense that it's not going to be what I think of when I think of every other Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. But it's still dang good. I just love that they're not putting themselves in a box anymore, but they're still releasing a good product. Is that product as consistent as it used to be? No, it never will be anymore. That being said, I don't think it's an overall loss, and I am a buy on Elijah Craig A124. I like that. That bottle is... That's good. That's good. Especially for like 80 85 bucks in today's market. Like, there's no better value... I, actually, I shouldn't say that. Like, that my, probably my two top values as far as, like, quality. Jack Daniel Single Barrel Barrel Proofs. That's a lot to say all at once. And then Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs. I really honestly think, like, these are the best value in barrel proof bourbon nowadays. And I think you're a fool if you don't want to buy them. I don't care if the age statement's not what it used to be. They're still dang good. Same with this bottle. That being said, that is a wrap for today's video. Please do me that favor. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this video. Also, check out the Facebook, Instagram, and the Patreon. I'll be honest, I don't really use a lot of those, but, you know, check them out. I like the support. That's been a wrap for today's video. We'll see you later. Cheers.